In the Unique Strengths internship, I worked with Dr. Lee Chung Yun and postdocs at the Amon Pinizado Biopharmaceutical Innovation Center doing undergraduate research with Arabidopsis thaliana, also known as mouse ear cress, which is a commonly used plant in lab research. I worked under the guidance of postdocs to gain experience in laboratory techniques and complete a research project. The Lee Lab investigates the functions and pathways of plasmodesmata in model organisms Arabidopsis thaliana and Nicotiana benthamiana through gene editing and gene silencing. Plasmodesmata, or PD for short, are microscopic tubes connecting plant cells that act like messaging channels, allowing the movement of molecules like sugars and proteins across the cell wall and functioning in plant defense against stress. We figure out how changes in genes that code for PD and PD-related proteins alter plant immunity response under stress, just like the human immune system when we get sick. The purpose of my research project was to successfully create a transgenic organism, meaning a plant that contains foreign DNA. We inserted a gene construct of interest, called PDLP5 rogfp 2 into a Arabidopsis. Once inside the plant, PDLP5 localizes to Plasmodesmata while carrying the GFP expressing gene, which allows us to monitor Plasmodesmata activity. To insert PDLP5 row GFP2, we used a procedure called floral dipping to infiltrate Arabidopsis with the gene construct, ensuring that developing seeds will carry the transgene of interest. These seeds are then harvested at maturity and selected for successful transformation. Seeds are plated onto selective basta media, which is a type of herbicide, where successfully transformed plants contain a basta-resistant gene that allow them to germinate healthily, and wild-type untransformed plants, known as Col Zero, exhibit albinism and stunted growth. Although the plate on the right does seem to have a lot of healthy plants, only 1 in 1,000 seeds will actually be successfully transformed. Once successful transformation is confirmed, those positive seeds, known as the T1 generation, will then be transferred into soil. Those plants will be grown to maturity, and the following generation of seeds, known as T2, will be harvested again and stored for further experimentation.